I just thought I'd shoot a quick video here to show you guys one of the kooky kind of projects I get into. Um, let's see here. I'll start by showing you this piece. So what we're doing here is this is part of some of the big trenching machinery that I work on occasionally. This is uh, the range box cover off from a, a new process 203 transfer case. We're using that... <clears throat> as a um, gear reduction and a power divider and a drive for the track systems on those. I won't get into all the details, but anyways, we're definitely not using it in the factory application. We've got this strapped onto the backside of a Chevy or Muncie SM465, but we're using an adapter that's to put a Borg Warner transfer case onto an SM465, so we're trying to keep it compact and strong. So anyway, it's this Frankenstein of parts. But then the other issue is that obviously this bolt pattern is not on this transfer case because this is a Chevy or a Dodge style transfer case. And we're trying to bolt it up to a Borg Warner pattern. So what I've done in the past, and then the other issue is we're trying to clock these differently than they were originally. So I've built them a few of these and we've done it by taking, let's set this thing back down over here on the floor. Um, taking this and putting it on there and then transfer punching through from the back side. Now it's kind of a pain because as you can see, like this bolt is inside of a cavity and that one you can just barely get at. So what you end up having to do is punch as much of the pattern as you can, drill and tap at one and then rotate it a hole so that the one you can't get at is represented by another one. You can punch it, but then you have to be careful because there's one of these holes is intentionally out of position to force you to only be able to clock it one way. So I did that once, uh, maybe twice, and then they've built a few more of them on their own since then. I set the first one up. But at any rate, what they've done since then is just carried on with that. Now they want me to build eight more of these, and I am not doing this baloney anymore that way. So what I've been doing here is... I've already had that on the mill, and you can see here, what I'm doing is cheating and using my milling machine as a poor man's coordinate measuring machine. Because these patterns are screwy, goofy, it's hard to figure them out. So I made a crude drawing of the face of that thing, and got it on the mill, got it squared up, and then went with my um, co coaxial indicator and centered up on the bore in it. I got, uh, you may notice it's got a flat edge on it here. So I squared up to this, this edge got squared up with the Y axis. And then I swept this bore, which is what it lines on on the pilot and got zeroed on that. So I called that, you can see here on my chart X or my print X zero Y zero. And then I went and put my coaxial indicator in each one of those bores and picked up the X Y coordinates for them. Now what I'm doing is this is the part that it mates to. Now this is one of them that I or somebody else has transfer punched and laid out. When I took this apart, because I dismantled this tranny had, or transfer case, it had got hit and broke something else. So what I'm doing is using this a minute because we're indexing these based on by guess and by golly, for lack of a better term. But we know this one fits the application. Like we've had it on there, it works in this position. So what I'm doing now is I wanted to find out where these studs are, and it's kind of hard to sweep a stud, so I had this hardened 3 8 drill bushing, and I'm dropping that on there and sweeping that with my coaxial indicator. Now these, because they were transfer punched and hand drilled, they might be a bit crooked. Matter of fact, I've picked this one as being the squarest out of all of them, and I'm calling that one my master. Um, that's the one that I'm probably going to go off from, but I wanted all the dimensions I could get. And then this one, by the way, isn't part of my pattern that's part of the factory pattern so we're gonna see what we can do with this thing all right so anyways i don't remember where i was at but uh basically at this point my plan is i've pulled the dimensions for all this stuff now and my plan is to make an aluminum plate that pilots on this this um aluminum casting that holds the seal is the pilot that lines this up that pilots on that and this shaft for the this is the counter shaft for the uh range box here and then i'm going to put hardened drill bushings well i'm going to drill it and ream it to accept hardened drill bushings at the locations where i want these to be 
And the idea is I've got three different sizes here. I've got eighth inch, so I'll pop in eighth inch. I'll have to make uh, an adapter bushing because I have to make it to accept these three eighths ones. And then I've got two smaller sizes. I got a seven, five sixteenths and an eighth inch. So I'll pop an eighth inch in, put it into my aluminum plate that's sitting on here that's got all these, and it'll be the guide for a pilot drill then. Eighth inch pilot drill. Pop that one out, pop in the 5 8 or the 5 16 drill it 5 16 pull that out, put the 3 8 in, and then that 3 8 is the guide for 3 8 tap then. And then you'll be able to move that around position to position, and that'll let you pilot drill, tap drill, and then tap and have these in exactly the right spot instead of this hokey transfer punching and turning it. And got some pretty questionable alignment that we end up with with that. So, anyhow. That's the plan. That's what all of this uh, measuring was about to make sure I needed this because I wanted to get the actual dimensions off from it, not off from the thing that we made from transfer punching. But then I needed this because I have to know how the clocking is. And that's why I picked this as my master one. It looked like it was the squarest, truest of the bunch. And between these two sets of prints that I've created here, I can basically overlay them over each other and figure out exactly what the starting point this will be my starting point and then i'll use the pattern off the other one to pick up where the rest of them need to be so anyway just kind of the kooky stuff that you get into once in a while and we're going to uh hopefully get these made so, or the uh drill guide made so that i can go get a bunch of these built for them